you doing? My name is Lady Rennes, and welcome to Root Canal Procedure on SurgerySquad.com. Paging Dr. Rodness. Paging Dr. Rodness, you're here for your dental patients. Roger. <laughs> I love this. <laughs> Alright, let's do this. Welcome to Surgery Hi, Squad's Jeff. virtual root canal procedure. I'm the one and only Dr. Jeff. Yes, you are. And I'll be helping <laughs> you with this surgery today. A root canal is an endodontic dental procedure that's used to repair and save Ooh, a decayed Greek. or infected tooth. During a root canal, your dentist or endodontist will remove the pulp tissue within the tooth. Once everything is removed, they'll clean out any contaminants inside the tooth and seal it to prevent any further infection. Our patient today hey, is having a root man. canal performed on their Many lower right treatment. second premolar. A dental professional may refer to this tooth as tooth 29. Before we begin, why doctors would you like to review mm -hmm. some of the common myths and misconceptions surrounding root canal treatment? Do you? <laughs> Sure, why not? This is interesting. I thought so. Read the myth and click next to move forward. During a root canal treatment, the tooth roots are removed. Not even close. Remember, a root canal only involves cleaning, disinfecting, and sealing off the inside of the tooth. If the tooth's roots were removed, it would no longer have anything to anchor it to your jawbone. Hmm. If a tooth doesn't hurt, it doesn't need a root canal treatment. Not true at all. It is very possible for a patient to require root canal treatment if they have never experienced pain from a tooth. This is why having routine dental exams is important. He doesn't look like he's having a good day at all. <laughs> Pulling a tooth is a better option than having root canal treatment. I know that. Nope. Often patients may choose to have a tooth removed instead of having a root canal. While this may immediately seem like a simpler and more economical choice, it's often the opposite. Having a tooth extracted and replaced with a bridge, implant, or removable partial denture is not only a more costly option, but it also requires more treatment time. Mm. Teeth that go through root canal treatment are eventually lost or pulled. Let me guess. Not true. Not exactly. With positive oral hygiene habits such as routine brushing, flossing, and dental cleanings, most teeth that have root canal treatments can last your entire life. Ooh. <laughs> root canal treatment requires multiple appointments to complete. Let me guess. Not true. There is some truth to this statement. Oh. The number of appointments that are required to complete your root canal treatment depends on a few variables. These include how your dentist has been trained, their experience, equipment available to them, and the condition of your tooth. This is really interesting to f learn about because the only thing that I know about from experience is braces. <laughs> as you see, as you saw in my uh, braces surgery squad video. So. Yeah, I have a lot of knowledge about braces, and they were not fun. I'll tell you that. They were not fun. But this is new, and I'm learning a bit. This is interesting. <laughs> I hope it's interesting for you guys. Click next to be interesting. All right! Let's move on. In effort to make our patient as comfortable as Dude, possible, you need to shave we need to inject a local anesthetic into their gum line. But first, apply a topical numbing gel to the injection site. This will help reduce any discomfort the needle may cause. Yep, cause it's not fun to get stabbed in the gums are very sensitive. Thankfully, I always got um, a sedation pill before that because why? I hate needles. I'm terrified of them. Next, we can inject the local anesthetic. After the local anesthetic is taken effect. Boop, boop. The area should become numb for a few hours. Use the syringe to inject the local anesthetic into the patient's gums, 
just below the tooth we'll be performing a root canal treatment on. That is a big, well not really the big needle part right here, but that's a big syringe. It's totally Let's felt that, you see that? Few minutes to relax and for their mouth to become completely numb. He totally felt that, his tongue flinched. Now that the patient's mouth is numb, we can move on to isolating the tooth. Since our patient's saliva contains contaminants that we don't want getting into the tooth, isolation is a critical step during root canal treatment. To isolate the tooth, we need to punch a small hole into the rubber dental dam and place it over the tooth. I've never seen this before. Once the rubber dam is in place, put on a tooth clamp to keep it from moving. Now this is interesting. Next, we'll need to dry out Doesn't the tooth as much as possible using our air water syringe. And how, oh, he has his nose. I was going to say, how is he supposed to breathe? <laughs> Just remember his nose. So far, so good. About the cracker, it sounded like a dentist's office. Now that the has been isolated, <laughs> we can create our access cavity in the tooth using our drill. Yes, accurate sounds of drill. Activate! Sound like fun! <laughs> the next step is to clean and shape the tooth's canal using a root canal file. Go ahead and give it a shot. Do you think you were going to touch the, the dentist roots? would measure the depth of the canal using a combination of x-rays and specialized equipment. If a dentist fails to measure properly, it could That's mean that the tooth would be at risk for reinfection. Now we need to clean the canal of the tooth using sodium hypochlorite, commonly known as bleach. Oh, that ought to not be fun. We'll yes. let the bleach sit in our patient's tooth for about five minutes to make sure that all the bacteria and tissue inside the tooth has been dissolved. Ba -da -da -ba -ba -ba. Great. <laughs> now use the suction to remove the bleach from the patient's tooth. Oh, good. They remove it. That was a big thing to suck it out with when we injected it with such a tiny old one. Hey, you didn't. There's no Next, way you could have gotten we need it to all fill with the that. tooth using a rubber compound known as gutta percha. Gutta what percha now? is often preformed as tiny, thin cones that we'll insert into the clean canal of the tooth. I've already added some sealant to the gutta percha cone. Let's see what you can do. Gutta percha. Seems interesting. Look, not my camera. I think I stop doing that. Okay. That does not Looking look good. good. A heated instrument is now used to remove the excess gutta percha. Oh my god, that scalpel is probably heated really high. Pack the gutta percha into the tooth canal using a plugger. A plugger? After the gutta percha has been placed, it is common that additional x-rays are taken to verify that the canal has been adequately sealed off. Okay. Once the dentist verifies that the canal has been sealed, a filling or crown is placed, depending on the location of the tooth. You can learn more about fillings and crowns in our virtual dental filling and virtual dental crown procedures here on SurgerySquad.com. Which we will do next time. After a root canal, patients should expect some mild sensitivity and discomfort. This can usually be relieved using over-the-counter pain medication, such as ibuprofen or naproxen, by brushing twice a day. Flossing daily, scheduling regular dental visits, and avoiding smoking, it is possible to greatly reduce the need for a root canal. And that's a root canal. Why not check out some of our other amazing hey, we did both of these. here <laughs> on SurgerySquad.com. Yay! The surgery was a success. I hope I never have to get a root canal. Ever. <laughs> 
I like my natural pearly whites. <laughs> I went through a lot of trouble straightening them, though. <laughs> and it was not fun. <laughs> but I hope this was interesting. I hope you learned a little bit about what dentists do. Or orthodontists. Or what not. Oral surgeons. So, this was fun. I love this. <laughs> I love informational, like, games like this. Like, I love learning things about, like, anatomy or constellations. I love learning stuff like this. It's, t to me, it's interesting. It's a lot of fun, too. So, I hope you enjoyed it as well. I hope this was, in a way, entertaining. <laughs> maybe you learned something. Maybe you just dozed off when he was talking about all the information. If you did, well, if you have to have a root canal yourself, you're not going to know what's going on. <laughs> but anyway, thank you all so much for watching. If you liked it, high five that like button, like a pro, and I will see all you guys in the next video. Bye! Dr. Warren, if you are cleared to take go home for the day, Roger, going home. Bye.